we're going to do here is we're going to run a 1.825 drill on steel. Uh, we're running about 1,062 or 750 surface footage. Uh, we're going to feed it at about 6.5 per rev and uh, you should see what we got here. So hang in there. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to pop the door open here. Got to tilt back the camera a little bit. Sorry for the bump. And there we go. Still got some chips rolling down here. Got some steam coming off of them. Chips look good. Probably could pick up the feed rate a little bit. Back up here. Give you a quick little look at the drill. So you can see the drill itself. Inserts look pretty good. Let's see if we can get around here and take a look at the bore. Okay, like I said, that didn't take very long at all. And over here, for the Ultra Turn 250, I just want to show you some examples of the parts that we ran here. And here's a couple examples here. I'll zoom in on this one. It's about a 2.275 hole with the radius. Uh, complete part takes approximately three minutes to make. Just an example of some of the chips that we've run on this machine. And uh, we have been pretty aggressive, maybe not on this application, but on quite a few. Please feel free to inquire if you have any questions or um, want to have us do a time study for you, would be more than happy to. Once again, it's the uh, Cybertech Ultra Turn 250. Just a little overview here before we're all said and done. And this unit right here is a nice swing away door that you can store tooling, um, inserts, you know, boring bar blocks, etc. And it's powered with a Mitsubishi M700 series controller, which comes standard with a three year warranty. And if you have any questions, please feel free to inquire to CyberCNC.